um, today our topic is binomial coefficient and binomial theorems. Generally, generally speaking, here C and R is a combination, which means R of combinations of an, an elements element set. We call binomial coefficient read n choose r. Here we have some specific uh, the uh, coefficient such as from n take zero or from n take one or and uh, generally speaking from n take r it is equal n take m minus r. Also we have this from n take n it is one n takes n minus one, it is n. So first topic, it is Pascal identity or Pascal triangular, which means the theorem, theorem 19.1, let n and k be integer such as n greater than k plus one, we have from n take k plus n take k plus one, it is equal n plus one take k plus one. To prove this, uh, I just want to show you guys. Uh, here we can see from the left side to right side or from right side to left side, if we didn't choose right direction, we get the trouble. Here, if we take the left side, that's okay. First, uh, from n take k, n take k plus one, then it is n factor over k factor times n minus k factor plus this. At the numerator denominator, we put the common factor k plus one and k plus one, and n minus k, n minus k. Therefore, if we make it is a change, we hide exactly same as n plus one take k plus one. It is right side. Then we can use this triangular, take the n take zero, n take one, n take two. n take zero has just one term. n take one has two term. n take two has uh, three term. Uh, continues. Uh, so, uh, Expand the this page. We get the, this page. It is very interesting. Like here, one plus one is two. One plus two, it is three. Therefore, it is two. So, uh, for the next most important, uh, it is the theorem nineteen point two. For all integer n greater than zero, that um, the whole coefficient sum together from n elements take zero plus n elements take one plus n elements take n equal n to n power. Generally speaking, if we have the arbitrary n, we always use by induction to prove. So, like here, the first uh, beginning, if n equals zero, left side, it is zero, take zero, it is one. Right side, two power is one, so p zero is two. Let k be an integer such that uh, it is two. We want to prove if pk is two to prove pk plus one is two. So induction hypothesis, it is the suppose k is two, which means from k take zero plus k take one plus k take k, it is two k, two k power. Go to prove pk plus one, follow from the pk. So we want to prove this equation, k plus one take zero, k plus one take one, and the k plus one take k plus one equal to k plus one power. Uh, 
Here, we from the right side to prove, because if left side we expand, it's too difficult. However, so 2k plus 1, we can write as 2 times 2k, which means 2k plus 2k power. So the first one, we use the hypothesis twice. Then we arrange them like the second term plus third term, fourth term plus five term. The before last second term plus last second term. That plus. So we get this. Mm. Just the beginning and the last one, it is k. Others is k plus one now. But we have take k, take zero, equal one. And the k plus one, take zero, it is one, two. k, take k is one. And the k plus one, take k plus one is one. So this term, we can write as this. Therefore, this it is left side of pk plus one. So pk two, then pk plus one is two. Another proof of the theorem 19.2, let S be an, an element set, that number of subset of S equal the power of the S, the size, they are equal to power S size. S size, it is an element, so it is two N power. This we can uh, write as number of the subsets of S can be divided by number of zero element subsets of S, number of one element subsets of S, number of n elements subset of S. So you can see one number of subset of S equal two. Therefore, here, this is type of law, is 19.2 is two. Another one is a binomial theorem. The binomial theorem, it is if x, y be variable, then x plus y, the sum of the n power can be expanded as this. Here, the it is the coefficient time x and the y power. And from the x from n to zero, y from the zero to n. This we can check by sum of, such as if n equal two is two. Then for the, for the examples 19.4, if we evaluate this, we can use two way to do this. One is directly prove, another one is a binomial theorem. Two minus one over x three, it is one over one over x. Two minus one over x, two minus one over x. So we expand it, now we get this. However, now we have the binomial theorems. So we can just use the formula to do this. X, it is two. Y, it is minus one over X. Use the series. We can do it. So you can see it is exactly the same as we directly prove. Example, 19.5, find the coefficient of the X 12, y 17, or x 13, y 16. In the expansion, two, three x square minus y five, the difference, 23 power. We first use the expansion. Expansion, then we put the coefficient together Next, just x 46 minus 2i power times yi power. 
So for the coefficient of the term x tau of y17, we need the index i, it is 17. And also 46 minus 2i is 12. So solve these equations, we get i equals 17. Therefore, we have the solution. The coefficient of the x tau of y17, it is 23, take 17. 3, 6, minus 5, 17. Because we plug i equals 17 to get this. The coefficient of the term, another one, x 13 power, and this y 16, maybe it doesn't work. Because if from this equation, we need i equals 16. But here, the first equation, we need 33 over two. This is not integer. So it is, doesn't work x13, y16 does not ever, ever appear in the expansion. So the coefficient, it is zero. Here, it is very important. If we don't have this term, we just think the coefficient is zero. Today, we are learned the following terms and the concept. First, binomial coefficient. Binomial coefficient, it is the, in the beginning. It is from the n choose r. It is n factors over r factors uh, than time n minus r factors. Uh, another one we call it is Pascal identity, which means from n, if we take a k plus n, take a k plus one, equal n plus one, take a k plus one. And also the theorem 19.2, this coefficient, the sum of together, it is two n power. The coefficient sum together, it is two n power. Or the binomial theorem, which means x plus y n power equal i equal zero to n. The expansion, the coefficient x n minus i y i. We use this to confine the uh, uh, as a um, binomial the coefficient. So coefficient of the specific terms in the expansion of the x plus y n. So this is for today. Thank you so much. Bye bye.